Hello friends, uh, someone asked me a question after viewing my video on making induced normal farm of extensive farm games that how to identify the sub games. So uh, let's do that. So I'm taking the basic uh, extensive farm game that was our entry game. So the first player is the challenger. So this has option of making entry in a market where one form is already there or staying out and this form that is already in there is called incumbent so this form has two actions uh, whether to accommodate the entry of the uh, new form the challenger or to fight the entry the payups doesn't matter here so i'm not I'm making them here so let's identify the sub games so see we have this is one sub game you see this is one game in itself that entry has happened this is sub game after the history in entry has happened now i have two actions i can accommodate the entry or i can fight the entry the second sub game is the entire game itself so you remember as every set is subset of itself here every extensive farm game is a sub game of itself so we can say n sub games here this is two and n proper sub game so this is a sub game which is not having an empty history so uh, or say that this is which is not the complete game so this is only one so proper sub game part is only this one let's see another example a little more difficult one so this is player one it has two actions c and d and then comes player two at both these nodes it can choose between e and f and g and h so here try to identify the sub games so first sub game is this one second sub game is this one and entire game itself is a sub game so <coughs> n sub games is equal to c here 1 2 3 3 and n proper sub games is equal to only 2 the proper sub games are only this one and this one so i am trying to uh, write on one note after long time so uh, and there is some pain in my wrist I don't know what has happened so forgive my pretty bad handwriting a little more difficult game one it has action CD then comes two it has options of E and F and then comes one again this has option of G and H payoffs are not required here they will not actually change anything for you because we are just trying to understand the sub games so see this is one sub game this is another sub game and this entire game is a sub game so now see uh, number of n sub games is equal to 3 and proper sub games is equal to 1 and 2 only 2 so the proper sub games are only this and this so now uh, comes the question of actually the game from which this request came itself so this is like this 
this is player one it has actions a b then comes player two it has actions c and d and e and f then again player one moves g and h so try to identify the number of sub games and proper sub games here so see this is one sub game this is another sub game this one is another sub game and the entire game is also a sub game now what are the proper sub games so this is a proper sub game this is not the complete game this is a proper sub game this is a proper sub game so now we know that n sub games 1 2 3 and 4 so total 4 n proper sub games is 3 all the green ones so i hope this uh, short video makes you clear that how to identify a sub game and a proper sub game always see that number of proper sub games will be one less than the number of sub games the reason is this sub proper sub game has one restriction that it should not be the complete game so that's it for today uh, tell me if you want to know something more